Welcome to my balcony for afternoon tea. I hope you have liked what you've seen so far. We have a whole menu to get through. We've got tea and biscuits to start with. A wide selection of classic, classic, classic biscuits. And of course, a fresh pot of tea. And then we're going to go for some coffee and cakes. So let's get started with a look through the menu. I'll just pop this down. So the selection is right here. Of course I'll take you through everything individually, but I thought you might just like a quick run through. So to begin, we've got our tea selection. We have lemon tea, apple tea, strawberry tea, blueberry tea, orange tea, and grape tea. It's all quite fruity, summery blends. And they are the absolute best quality. <laughs> so yeah, that's your tea selection. Anything tickling your fancy straight off the bat. Yeah, the strawberry tea is definitely the most popular. Strawberry as a flavour tends to be quite popular anyway, doesn't it? And let's little run through the biscuits we've got today. You're allowed to choose three different biscuits. You won't be limited on your biscuit choice, but three is more than enough with a second course. So we have a jammy dodger, a gingerbread man, a pink wafer, which I would highly recommend, a jaffa cake, a Viennese whirl, a chocolate digestive, just a plain digestive, a Viennese and a Smarties cookie for those who like something a little bit more indulgent. So I'll save this side of the menu for when we get to coffee and desserts. For now let's have a close-up inspection of the teas and make your choice. First the tea box. We have all herbal beautiful glass box like this so you can see exactly what you're getting. So let me just slide this off. Slip it gently. Let's see. All the colours you can think of. Wonder if anything catches your eye. Ah, top of the list we've got strawberry tea. The favourite around here you'd expect. It's just so summery and delicious. And we've got green apple. A bit different, a bit tangy, but doesn't make it any less delish. What next? Hmm. Ah, lemon. A classic tea. Best for the end of the day to help your digestion. I always recommend is always going to go down well pretty much. <laughs> you can guarantee that. Then we've got grape which is a bit of an interesting blend. 
It depends if you're into grape juice or if you like Bimto, things like that. Yeah, grape's not a flavour that everyone likes. Maybe if you are inclined towards berry. Ah, uh, the orange tea. Very citrusy, it almost tastes like there should be alcohol in there. <laughs> yeah, like a Pim's version of tea. <laughs> then we've got blueberry tea, which is nice, kind of sweet essence to it. One of my favourite, personally. Any thoughts? Oh, you wanna go? Yeah, you wanna go for strawberry tea? Of course, that's an amazing idea. I would really recommend that. I'm glad you didn't go for the lemon. That's everyone's choice. <laughs> Let's just get that in the pot. We need it to start brewing instantly because it needs a good two, three minutes. And I wouldn't want to get the lid on. Perfect. Now let's just pop this out of the way so we can brew in peace. I usually wear these two minutes. Ah, so we've got an order sheet here. Now, of course, we've chosen our tea, but would you like milk? You want to give me milk? Okay, no problem. And sugar, biscuits, any of these appeal to you? Yeah, let's get a few biscuits. Obviously, we've got plenty more. And of course, we know strawberry tea is well rabbit. So, let me just mark this up. It's really good for our inventory to mark these things so we know exactly what customers like and dislike. That's how I know to tell you that lemon's the favourite. And now, on to the biscuits. Is all you want. Yeah, we've got a jammy dodger. Everyone loves jammy dodgers, but for me, I prefer a bit of chocolatey stuff, a bit more creamy. We've got the Smarties cookie, which you can't go wrong with, can you really? Everyone loves the Smarties cookie. Oh, the tea biscuits. This is what we just tipped. This is the classic serving we do with tea, and it's free of charge. So, a bit of a cheaper option, not as indulgent as, say, the gingerbread man. Who doesn't love a gingerbread man, though? I know it's a bit more autumnal dessert, but you know. Ah, we've got a Jaffa cake. I love Jaffa cakes. So tasty. Ah, we've got the Viennese, my absolute favourite. It's so buttery biscuit with chocolate on it. Who doesn't love that? And have a look what's on the other side. Ah, I think this is actually the jam cake. Well, I showed you before, must have been the chocolate digestive. Apologies, I thought it looked like chalky orange. But the Viennese well, delicious, but it has jam in the middle. Hence why I prefer the Viennese chocolate stick, because I'm not a jam fan. I know, criminal. I've got to help myself. So, yeah, there's the selection. What jumps out at you? Anything you want. Of course, you yeah, have the tea biscuits. Don't worry, they're free. We'll enjoy those together, no problem at all. But what else? You took my advice and you're going for the beanies. Very good choice. Ah, and you want the cream beanies as well. Well, that's your business. If you are a jam fan, then I'm happy for you. Time to pour the tea now. Let's get two little cups and a nice boiled pot of tea. See the tea bag dangling right there. Good. Lovely. So, just make sure that's brewed very beautifully and. So what were you saying about milk? You want some? There you go. And sugar? Why not? A little spoon of sugar's not going to hurt, is it? Just stir that in. Just give that a good old stir. Perfect. Put the sugar pot down. And my 
every time to enjoy our tea and biscuits together. Thank you for choosing the strawberry tea. Could you tell I was really angling for that one? <laughs> and these cups are just so nice. They look very vintage. An old time afternoon tea set. <laughs> Floral. I'm only ever used to drinking, you know, English style blends. So we've got this biscuit selection as well. Let me just take a closer look. Yeah. I mean, as I said, I'm very keen on the Viennese blends. This chocolate Viennese looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? Do you think you prefer that over the world? Let's have a good look at this viennese as well. It's got like a nice buttery shortbread with a creamy filling. It's just so nice when it falls apart in the mouth like that. There's really nothing better in a biscuit. I don't enjoy biscuits that are really tough to eat, like oaty or crunchy. Um, it bothers me. I like soft. couple more sips of tea but I think it's time we consider the coffee and cake selection what would you say mm -hmm. and what's your opinion on the tea I really wasn't sure about adding milk to a herbal blend but as you insisted 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 mm -hmm. I'm glad you're enjoying it but are you ready for a coffee Back to the menu now. We have a side specifically for coffee and desserts. So let's run through the coffees. We have an Americana, a latte, a mocha, a cappuccino, decaf options, so that can be in any of the above, and a hot chocolate. And also in the notes we've got that you can ask for an extra shot of whipped cream. And then for desserts we've got quite a wide selection. We've got the Victoria's Sandwich Cake, a Battenberg, Pink Iced Donut, a Banana Nut Muffin, a Raspberry Macaroon, a Pistachio Macaroon, an iced finger, a jam crunch, and a chocolate chip slice. So, what do you think? Any of those appeal? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, you can have a mocha. No problem. Are you sure you wouldn't like maybe a simpler coffee and then enjoy the dessert? Otherwise a mocha plus a dessert might be a little bit sickly. Just a thought, I could be wrong. Okay. No problem. Let's try a latte. Trust me, they're so gorgeous. And then for desserts, I think I want to try the iced finger. And maybe we should share a macaroon. What do you think? Yeah, you can choose your own as well. We'll take a closer look now and you can tell me what you think, okay? Time to make you a coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's have a look again through what we've got here. A mocha, delicious latte milk and hot chocolate. We've got decaf, which is just your standard Americano, but obviously decaf, we can also use that. We've got an espresso for the very hardcore out there. <laughs> We've got a cappuccino, which is really delectable. Lots of foamy, foamy foam. And a latte, smooth, beautiful milk. 
I'm sure we can make some nice little milk patterns as well. And a hot chalk. Very indulgent, but absolutely gorgeous. So, what do you think it's going to be? The latte, is it? Let's pop it in. And put the coffee head in. Just turn it on. The cup underneath. Press the button. Turn the temp on. And just tick, 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 tick. Just wait until it's complete. Of seconds, just be patient. There we are. And let's just pop a few little bits of sugar in there. I promise you, it makes it all the better. There we go. A absolutely perfect coffee. What more could you ask for? <laughs> ah, now onto the cakes. It's time to make up your mind. I've got a nice, gorgeous. One of my absolute favourites. It looks more like a vanilla slice, but it is what it is. And then we've got a muffin. Banana nut, to be specific. It does have a few sprinkles, but it kind of tastes like a healthy option, even though it's not. So it wouldn't be my first choice, personally. Ah, and then we've got the Victoria Sandwich Cake. Classic English special. I would recommend this if you want something light and fluffy. Battenberg, not to everybody's tastes, but really interesting. It's a nice little tea and coffee cake, maybe a midday cake. My nan used to serve them. Ah, then we've got the pistachio macaroon. I'll be gone in a few bites. So very nice, but honestly, it won't be there very long. Ah, pink wafer. What could be nicer than this? Just three crunches and it's done. <laughs> I love things like this. And I've got the jam crunch. So it's like a jammy dodgy, but a bit more baked, less soft. So not something I'd particularly like. And we've got the beautiful classic glazed donut. It's like a Homer Simpson donut style thing, which I do like, but they're a bit sickly. I, I don't know if you know what I mean by that. It's just a bit too Slice, very nice. Probably something I'd have for like a morning coffee and cake session. Anything we've missed? Of course, we've got the raspberry macaroon. I don't know about you, I prefer pistachio, but everybody's different. So you just let me know what speaks to you. Time to make our mind up though. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to be going for that. Victoria sandwich, well done, you're taking my advice. Completely approve of this. Oh, then just to be interesting, you want a macaroon. <laughs> they are delicious. But which one? Yeah, pick one. Pick one, pick one, pick one. Pistachio, trust my judgment, they are going to be so nice. What a selection. I can't wait to dig into this. Wow, look at these. They look so tasty. I love a sponge flavour with cream in the middle. It's really a weakness of mine. <laughs> and this icing with the chocolate is just amazing. As for the macaroon, I'm quite certain I like pistachio. How certain are you? Make sure you drink up your coffee, there you are. A latte as requested. Have a sip and tell me if you like it. Yeah? It's nice, isn't it? Not too strong or overwhelming. And how about you try some of this? Have a bite of cake and then a sip of coffee straight after and tell me if you like it. You do? That's amazing. You just put this down. And that brings us to the end of our afternoon tea on the balcony visit. 
Have you had a good time? Did you like our menu? Our menu? Somebody once commented that I have writing like Tim Burton, so <laughs> I hope that's a little legible for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have loved every minute and I hope to see you again soon.